Hey Hard Squad, today I am going to the gym, pumping some iron. I'll be showing you my workout. Most importantly, we'll be opening up some Pokemon packs at the gym. Let's go. All right, so I know it's not like my usual type of unboxing videos. A lot of y'all have been requesting me to go show you what my workout is like, show you what my dietary regime is like. And I think this is gonna be a lot of fun because I'm gonna be going to the gym, showing you what I do, but then we'll be searching for a very, very rare Pokemon card called a Rainbow Charizard or a Hyper Rare Charizard. This card is worth almost 200 US dollars. And we'll be opening up packs, middle of the gym. So I appreciate y'all checking me out, checking this channel out. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. I start off my back and biceps day by doing some lightweight pull-ups and make sure you extend all the way down and then come back up. You can do that to failure and do several sets of that. Next up, I do the seated row with weights that you can stack up together. And for this, this is actually just more of a warm up set. And then you get into deeper, heavier sets. Once again, doing around four sets, and then you can do a drop set at the very end. Here I am doing chin ups. And usually with the chin ups, uh, along with fully extending down, I add some weights to it to make it a little bit more difficult, but for beginners, they do have that weighted one, which is to the right of me right now, where I am doing some uh, some pull downs, lateral pull downs, and I'm using the machine this time to add some weight. Next up, and I know this is going very fast and I'm not going in too much detail, I'm warming up to do some barbell rows. Then all of a sudden I'm pumped up and I'm able to do 45 pound weights on each side. And then I do a little bit more from that. Looks like I'm getting red there. Next up, once you do that, move on to some biceps and here I'm actually on a little bit more heavy weight now and I've actually actually already done my entire workout so far I'm actually just showing y'all a little quick summary of everything I'm doing for today uh, after doing some of those I'm doing some incline dumbbell curls these are great to make your biceps pop and so I highly suggest doing these definitely don't start out with 40 pounds here I'm doing some hammer curls. This hits another side of your bicep. It also helps with strength in a complete, completely different way than doing curls. And then finally, I'm doing a little bit of resistance or making my biceps tired by doing 21s and I'm not even sure if I did 21 curls there, but you do it in three different positions, bottom, fully, and then just at the top as you saw me doing there. And then finally, and I know this is a lot of bicep work, I am using the resistance cables and putting standing on top of them and then basically maxing out. Now moving on to some abs, just doing some body weight, uh, moving myself, all the way up. Yeah, you're supposed to go fully up and make sure you don't use your hips and make sure you're using your abs. And then I move straight into some side raises to hit the sides of my amazing abs that I have. Here, I like to use weights because it does make your abs pop. Simply just, I don't even know what this is called, what this is called to be frank, <laughs> but and then moving on to this to hit more of the upper abs. As you can see, I hit every single part of my abs today, and I'll change up the exercises for basically everything that I did every single time. And then sometimes I like to either warm up or cool down with doing some rows on this machine. I hope y'all enjoyed looking into some of my workout. Now this was just the bicep day and I'm gonna be doing other days. If y'all leave a like on this video and let me know in the comment section that you wanna see more, I'll show you more. But we are gonna be opening up some packs right now. And once I'm done with these, I will showcase what I usually eat every single day. So be sure to stick around later on in the video. I'll go over my diet. Hopefully you get some tips from it and hopefully you got some tips just from this workout today, but it wasn't too intricate just yet because I wanna gauge what y'all think. So first pack, and yes, this is a hyper rare Charizard. Where are you at where I go to public places that you want me to go to? So you leave it in the comment section below to open up these in search of a very, very rare Pokemon card called a Hyper Rare Charizard. So here's free codes for people that want it. You get to do a card trick, 
four cards, change it there, and we do something called Guess the Energy. It's my game, trademark, patent it, the lean hard, guess the energy game. You guess whatever color you think the card's gonna be. So I'm gonna say purple or psychic energy. It is not one, but it's okay. Let's see what we can do in these Burning Shadows packs. Hashtag Magikarp Army, Alolan Rattata, Wimpod, Malamar, which is a reverse rare holographic. So a reverse rare is when this part is holographic and not that part, and it's a rare. Indicated by the little star right there. It's not really coming out in focus, but that's okay. And the actual rare is Scoliopede non-holographic rare. Okay, so uh, next up, we're actually in a room which I never go into, but it's a little workout classroom for yoga and different other exercises. So we're gonna get into the next pack. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, my name's Leonhardt. I do Pokemon card unboxings, Pokemon videos, and you'd be surprised, there's a lot of random videos on this channel that you would actually probably like. So I definitely hit that subscribe button if you are interested in that. So guess the energy game. I'm gonna say blue or water energy. Leaf energy, maybe getting it wrong is gonna provide us some luck, I'm not sure. All right, it's okay if it covers my face. Wishful, Ledba, Hoot, there it is, Alolan Vulpix, Ralts, the Duskull Dab. The Dabbing Duskull is the reverse holographic, and the actual rare is a holographic Kingdra card. All right. It's a very cool looking one too. Now it's probably only worth like 25 cents, but it is still very, very nice. And I am happy with this pull. I am here in the gym, very nice. Thankfully no one's playing basketball right now or this could get really annoying for y'all, but there are people on the other court. So I apologize for the sound, but here we go. We are getting into the next pack right now. And then we have three more packs to go. Still in search of that rainbow rare Charizard card. So here is the code for this one. Guess the energy game. I'm guessing yellow or lightning energy. Fighting energy, so that would be brown. All right, let's see what we can do. So this card, Guzma, is actually worth about two to three dollars, sometimes five dollars, depending on where you sell it to. So that's actually a great card, and I'm very happy about pulling that one. Ribombi, Pan Sage, Crow Gunk, Pikachu. There we go. Get some little nostalgia in there. Panpour, Cue to Fly, a Gyarados. So a Gyarados holographic for the reverse, and. Heracross, non-holographic rare. But honestly, guys, this Gyarados is a reverse rare, and it's very, very nice looking, so I'm excited about it. Let's go shoot some hoops. All right, Heart Squad, I am here in the main part of the gym. Got quite the crowd today, so I apologize again if the sound gets too loud, so we'll get right into this next pack, and then we have two more packs to open up today. So let's see if we can get something better than a holographic card. So guess the energy game, I'll say green or leaf energy. This is a pink one, so fairy energy. So let's see what we can do. So Viper, Escape Rope, Per Brawler, Morlo, Sandy, Venipede, Horsey. The reverse is a Lycanroc. So that is another reverse rare holographic card. And the actual is a Lucario holographic card. So that is two holographic cards in several reverse rare holographics. So this is looking pretty good so far, but we're still looking for an ultra rare or above. So Art Squad, we got two packs remaining. Let's get into this next one, see if we can get that rainbow rare Charizard. Now I've been looking for over a year now. In this series, the Hyper Rare Charizard Where You At series has been going on for well over a year now. So it's about time that we pull it. All right, brown or fighting energy? This is a dark energy, so black. So we are getting every single one that I am that I'm not guessing. <laughs> Hashtag Magikarp Army, Crow Gunk, another Pikachu is always nice. Lycanroc, so that again makes another reverse rare holographic in the actual rare is another Lycanroc. Okay, we are on the last pack. We gotta get some last pack magic. Jim is still right over there. 
little bit more quiet in this little alcove. So we're gonna get into this last pack. And like I said, right after this, I will show you what a typical diet is for myself. A lot of y'all have been requesting me to do something like this. So let me know if you enjoyed this so far. I'll say blue for water. All right, so we didn't get any of the guess the energy game right, but that's okay. Let's see what we can do in this last pack. Sandcastle Reverse and Electivire Non-Holographic Rare. As promised, I am gonna go into some of the dietary stuff that I eat every single day. Now, just a forewarning, this is not a complete detailed diet plan because one, it depends on you, the person. Uh, this is my own plan, it's not too detailed. I'm not gonna get into detail or the video is gonna be like an hour long, but I will show you some healthy foods that you can, can, you can incorporate these into your life right now. And they're very cheap too. So like the first thing, every single workout when I am done, I have a form of whey protein. It is healthy, this is chocolate. Does it taste like chocolate? No, not really, but it's still good and it's protein. So I have that right after. There's like statistics saying that if you have protein in any form right after you work out, specifically like a protein shake, like whey protein, you get like 20% more mass and everybody wants more mass. So, mwah. All right, so uh, all kidding aside, let's take a look at some of the foods that I eat. So I'd like to start off with some good old, old fashioned oats. So I'll have old fashioned oats in the morning and I will mix it with my whey protein over here. And it's a chocolatey goodness in the morning and I mix it with water and that's essentially all I have. There's plenty of other options you could do. Add some vegetables and other stuff on the side. You can also have these, which are eggs. And these are 12 jumbo eggs. And uh, a lot of people, there's always coming back and forth on like the cholesterol, is it bad, is it good, blah, blah, blah. Eggs are healthy, just don't have too much of the yolk, but the egg whites are amazing. You can have those in the morning or on your own time. Almonds, one of like the super foods that you can eat, they help give you abs, they give you good fats, because fats are actually essential and good sometimes. And then this is another super food. This is baby spinach, or just spinach of any kind. Myself, I am more of a spinach eater. So instead of just regular romaine lettuce, because one, this is healthier and it's romaine lettuce is just water. Next up, we got some flat out wraps. So if you like some bread, these actually have some protein in it, fiber so you'll fart a lot, and they're only 90 calories and not a lot of carbs at all. So there you go, you can put turkey like this. Some uh, just turkey from the uh, deli. Low sodium turkey, flop it on there. Baby spinach, almonds, get some veggies like these carrots and you are good to go. You can also get, I just threw some more random veggies that I have. Here's an avocado. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna put that back there. So next up is some fruits like blueberries. You can have raspberries, cranberries. I like eating a banana, one a day keeps the doctor away. I think that applies to apples actually. So next up, if you do get a little like craving for something else, this is just a regular old cheese stick, uh, uh, string cheese stick that you can have. This is a more low sodium one, so that's good. Here's some more cucumber, cucumbers. Chop those up, put them in a salad with all of this, including some mushrooms, and you're good to go. Last up, you can get stuff like some Greek yogurt. Now, I don't eat this one because there's a little bit more sugar in it, but usually I get one called F-A-G-E. Uh, it's like Faye yogurt Greek, 0% fat, and you're good to go. So much protein in Greek yogurt, so much protein in low-fat cottage cheese. Definitely recommend getting some low-fat one and not the non-fat just because this tastes better, and I've had better results with low-fat than non-fat. Eating healthy doesn't have to be bad. There's so many different combinations that you can make. I suggest going to like the bodybuilding website if you wanna check it out. There's thousands and millions of recipes online. And if, if really, if y'all like this video and let me know in the comment section that you would like me to go more in depth, not only with my diet, but my workouts as well, I'll make this like, you know, a monthly series or I'll do more videos like this on this channel. And don't get me wrong, I'll still go open up Pokemon cards at the gym or wherever else, but just let me know and I'm always, curious to hear about it. All right, everybody, I think that is it. 
Thank you for joining me this, the joining me this, man, I can't speak English today. Thank you for joining me on another hyper rare Charizard, where you at, where I go to public places that you comment in the comment section below and open up Pokemon cards. My name is Leanheart, stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.